very loud. <laughs> it looks like it's mm -hmm. not there. It's just populating. Okay. Sandra, this is a fun day for us to be able to celebrate. Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> so exciting, eh? Yes, it is. So the, the title is Divine Legacy, uh, New Era, Join the Millions of Women Who Are Liberating the, the Wealth of Feminine Prosperity to Reshape Their Work, Relationships, Wellness, and Ultimately the World. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And so Absolutely. you wrote a contributing chapter for this book, and it is very, very impressive. Um, it, the name of the chapter is The Courage to Embrace All of Me. Wow, there must be quite a story. But I want to introduce, <laughs> <laughs> introduce you properly. It says your sacred ally, soul touch mentor, spiritual and personal growth guide in service to awakening your highest self-awareness and loving acceptance to embrace all of yourself, opening the doorway of, li of be living mindful, meaningful, joyful life and more depth of authenticity and integrity, integrity and love. Passionate about human evolution, Sandra is committed to support you to ignite your courageous self, crossing the threshold from fear to self-love and empowering you to dare to be beautiful. That's awesome. So and when you get her, her get the copy of this book, you'll be able to read the entire bio on it. But tell us about what what is this um what is your chapter? mean when it says the courage to embrace all of me there has to be a story behind this <laughs> <laughs> yeah we need to be very courageous i believe you know it's hard to um to really embrace our darkness but i've realized that it's also very hard to embrace our light you know the magnificent being that we are and so i think that it's funny because you know for me this book was I had no clue what I was going to write about. I didn't know, I had no clue what the title was going to be, what was about the subject, but I was part of the last one. And I realized how, when we are receptive and um, responsive to, you know, to what wants to be created and, and expressed through us and we allow and we let go, right. And we allow to be participating in the greater flow of what's coming out there that we, it's so bigger than us. Right. And so for me, I had no clue, but I just felt the calling, right? Um, it's never clear that when we when we have a calling, right? It's never, oh, here on a silver platter, what's going to be, what you do? No, 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 no. It's really, um, it's just a feeling, right? That you are in the right direction, even though I'm not a writer. I considered myself not a writer, right? I I didn't, French is my first language, said but yet I just knew, but without knowing, right? It's this trust. And so honestly, uh, without even knowing the title or anything, this journey brought me closer to my own divine legacy. And I was like, wow, you know, this journey is so transformative to myself. I can just imagine how transformative it, it will be for people, right? And so you don't know what's going on and yet you know exactly that you are where you need to be. And I have to say that for me, I could tell you a whole story about my past, but you know, this journey of self mastery, you know, living a life constantly in striving for striving for having attention and love and recognition and, you know, validation and being appreciated constantly outside and, and always feeling disappointed and felt so alone. My whole life was like a, a self-abandonment, right? I didn't know that it was that, but I felt abandoned by the world. But yet I've realized that actually I was abandoning myself. So that's why at some point, you know, I had this calling to go on this journey. And this book actually helped me to move through even deeper and open myself to my own vulnerability and my own willingness to be seen in this authentic voice, you know, um, sharing my wisdom because I'm not sharing uh, knowledge and, you know, intellectual information, but really my wisdom, you know, and um, it started by me choosing to be willing to see myself as a vulnerable, authentic, you know, voice sharing my wisdom. And so through that 
courage of being vulnerable because through all this process, Marsh just supported us so much, you know, and all the team was so amazing and we were supporting each other. And I felt like, you know, my vulnerabilities was actually my strength, you know, the source of power of transformation. So actually, uh, for me, this embracing uh, helped me to even get closer and and when we have the courage to stand by ourselves, right, it's this journey while we are actually walking the path of remembering the magnificent being that we are and how honored and blessed that we are to be on this path, right? And so when, I mean, for me, I always, even though I've discovered that I've, I've abandoned myself, basically, I would like to read you a little piece because I think it, it's really aligned without me really knowing I'm so passionate you said it about human evolution, you know, and, but there's always have been also a strong will inside of me to grow and a profound desire to unlock myself, you know, to unstuck myself mm -hmm. uh, that drove me to never give up, even though in my unconscious self-abandonment. So even though I abandoned myself, it was always driven by that, right? Something and deeper. so, yeah. Yeah, to go deeper, right? So when um, when Marsh asked us, you know, because when she put all that together and became that divine legacy, and I'm like, wow, this is just so true, you know, like it got me, brought me closer to that, you know, when we feel empowered in our courageous self to dare, like you say, to be beautiful, fully ourselves, right? Right. And so we can embrace and live in our divine legacy. And so when she asked, you know, what does it mean to be, you know, for you, the feminine prosperity? And I was like, I don't know. And right. then I said, well, just go back, right, to your chapter and everything, and you'll find it because she has this way, this amazing way to bring everything together. And actually, I've realized that, uh, you know, it starts with the willing, sh the willingness to show up. It does. Absolutely. You know, like, and the willingness to see ourselves, to believe in ourselves and to choose ourselves. And therefore, we're going to stand finally by ourselves because I felt so alone, you know, and even though there were people around, you always feel like there's, you know, there's nobody to stand by you, not even yourself. Right. And that was a major, it's like, you know, I remember one of the person that I was coaching me was saying, well, of course you're feeling alone. You're not even with yourself. And I was like, what do you mean by that? Right? Wait a minute. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm there. Right. But, um, but when you really actually, you know, learn to show up for yourself, then you can stand by yourself and embrace yourself. So for me, embracing yourself it's this inner power right that we have because we can lead actually with our heart and uh the heart is actually the doorway for to our inner power of embrace and this power of embrace is the power to be in our highest self-awareness and loving acceptance you know and to embrace embrace the self who you are as human as soul as divine and that's the superpower of self-love, basically, you know, when you can embrace all of that you are, but also it's the, the inner power to embrace life, which is the superpower of resilience, because I've been teaching resilience as well. And I never realized it would, it would have brought everything together, you know? And so um, I remember having this download at one point and I got this soul touch and I had no clue. And Marsh says, well, you know, let connect with you know with your inner power with your the source within you know be receptive and allow it to emerge to what does that mean and I realized that it's definitely you know the inner power of embrace and so like um I like Brené Brown you know when she talks about a wholehearted life so it allows us when we are in our feminine prosperity to live a wholehearted life that means being all in, you know, really loving entirely and fully yourself yeah. and really living entirely and fully your life, basically, right? Well, it all, and so, it, yes, it all starts with self-worth. And I think the human condition, I, whether a man or a woman, many suffer from lack of self-worth. And when we when we recognize that, then the journey is the journey that you've been on, the journey that I've been on, the journey that 
the journey within that that all of us in order to live life to the fullest have really need to be able to live absolutely absolutely yeah so so beautiful and i took you off track from your <laughs> you were <laughs> you were going but there's a quote in in your chapter and i want to read it because i think it's just fabulous it says the divine light exists within all of us we are simply in different stages of remembering it and walking the path of embracing it. On this life journey of embracing all of me, I chose to stand by me. In my highest self-awareness and love acceptance, I cross the threshold of self-love. Beautiful. So in the work that you do here in our world, um, if, if somebody was to approach you and say, I would love to be coached by you, what is the process that did you do, do in working that you have for working with an individual to find and accept themselves and to love all of them themselves? Yeah. yeah. Um, I will first ask them, you know, because we need to be willing yeah. to go there, right? This willingness. So if the person is willing, you know, and I have the profound desire, you know, to really embrace themselves. My path is actually, I think that I've kind of lived my life dedicating to opening the door, actually, for people to really see themselves and really embrace that piece. So I will actually walk in their abyss with them, you know, because we need to go in the abyss of the unknown and the, the, the shadow and all these pieces, because we can never really know really who we are, you know, and so it's to provide them a safe space, you know, through the uncomfortable process, basically, of looking inside and facing your shadow, but also facing your beauty, right? Your own, the beauty of your own soul. Right. And yeah, it's both parts, right? So, and I will guide you to create that safe space for yourself, to create that safety space and to that will allow you to yourself dive in and I will help you to bring light to what is in the dark. I've been told that I'm, um, I sparks, uh, my, my, my essence, it's to sparks awakening and expansion of consciousness. So it's to really magnify what's there in order for having this loving acceptance. And so we teach about, we, we talk a lot about mindfulness, you know, because mindfulness is the acknowledgement Mm -hmm. of what is judgment free right in the embrace there's no judgment you know when there's no judgment you don't need to fight you don't need to resist you don't need to hide you don't need to feel shame about you don't need to run away from it you know you You're can blind. just allow it right. you know yes and and i open actually the possibility for people to live a meaningful a mindful joyful life you know because there's more depth we're more honest with with ourselves, you know, we, we, we connect to our own, you know, I like to sit in my own self. And I remember striving so much to go out there, you know, and be with people and get love and attention and recognition and all this. And it kept bringing me back inside. I'm like, what do you want me to do there? It's so lonely. It's so <laughs> empty, right? It's, it's so empty, right? But yet I've discovered with spiritual practice right certain spiritual practice that helps us to just open our heart and hang out in our heart you know let's hang out in the heart I've been so much in my head so I can guide you because I totally get it you know when we're stuck in our head and analyzing and you know and rationalizing and trying to find everything we should know everything we, we should have all the answers we should do everything by our own you know and it's like no 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 you're not alone yeah but you want me to go inside but I'm not with people around me. No, but I didn't get it. But being within myself was actually with being with my own higher self, but being with the divine. So the more I sat in this magnificent, just the beingness, th that place where there's nothing to do, nothing to think, nothing to go, nowhere to go. No, you know, nothing, just beingness, pure awareness. You just bait in there. It's just like, wow, you know. And for the first time in my life, I didn't feel it alone anymore. I didn't feel emptiness. I didn't feel abandonment. Actually, I felt totally connected, right? Connected to, to the, the essence of our, 
of our of our life force, which is the divine energy, right? And so I was like, wow, you know, I, I don't feel alone anymore. And we are all so unique in our essence, you know, we all a piece of God, you know, a specific, a specific flavor, right? Of the whole, like drops of the oceans, right? I and like snowflakes. <laughs> exactly exactly so that's a bit how you know i will guide people to go within but to provide them with tools and strategy that will help them to ignite that courageous self because it needs courage right yeah. in both cases as much to embrace like i said our shadow but also the magnificent people you know and and our uniqueness and our flavor you know and so hanging out in the door in in the heart is the doorway to live your life and leading your life through your heart right and what's which is all about feminine you know prosperity as well beautiful wow that's exceptional and and what a beautiful thing that it is as we begin to recognize the div divinity within each one of us and recognize mm -hmm. that that we that we can incorporate these different practices to help us even in the times when we kind of fall back the other way, like it, typically human, but to recognize and then to bounce back and continue on the path of that enlightenment where we make a difference in the world too, because each each thing we do has a ripple, ripple effect out to the world too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. And I find that this book is just so amazing and it is amazing for you know amazing women it, it's just unbelievable how we all kind of came together without talking to each other without identifying and deciding you know like with the the ego driven mind of what we're going to do and we and we just allow to flow you know and in in that in that greater flow and participate to that greater flow and it's just so bigger, like Marsh always says, right? It's it's bigger than you, right? It's bigger than us. It's, yeah. it's just bigger, right? And we just accept to be part of this, right? Yes, I think so. that the uniqueness of this book is the difference from one story to the other. We're mm -hmm. all saying, I think, basically the same thing, but we all have a very different way of expressing that, you know, exactly. because yeah. life as, as we go on through the, the journey of our lives, and recognizing that we're not so alone as we thought we were and recognizing that that one thing we all have in common is that human condition that 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 we are very much similar and yet yes we have our differences but that's what is part of the spice of life as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. absolutely well, I've loved your chapter. It, it's just an incredible chapter, and I I related well to it because I because of that feeling aloneness, you know, um, and kind of fighting against it until you finally realize you don't have to fight anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, just embrace it, right? Just embracing it. So and I have to say a special thanks. I mean, because this book, you know, Marsh and this book and all of this you know, um, event and this thing that is this new era, actually, it's interesting, because a while a while ago, I I read my calling in a book from Alana uh, Fairchild. And, um, you know, she was calling me to be a co creator of, you know, a, a world of love. And I said, Okay, you know, and she, 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 it, it was calling me, but I didn't know how it was going to happen. You know, the lion of love, a leader of the new way of love upon the sacred hurt, you know, to lead with our heart and to togetherness, you know, that togetherness, right? Where we actually, with love, we claim div divine victory, you know, and so we can actually live our divine legacy. And I'm like, how am I supposed to do that? Right? I don't know. What is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then when we talked about finally of this new era thing and like, okay, that's it. You know, it's actually being a lion of love, a leader of the new era of love, actually. That's what it is. The new era of love where we're really leading and living fully through our heart, you know? And I think this is just, it just gave me, okay, now I get it. So yeah. I got so many gifts through this journey, honestly. Yeah. I think all of us have. So if you had to express um, 
What is one um, word that describes you? Me. <laughs> I didn't expect that one, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't expect that. Um, that's a very good question. Because, you know, the way we see ourselves and the way people perceive, I remember having people telling me through this journey, you know, I wish you could see what I see, you know. And I actually have to say, God, I wish that I would see what you could see because I didn't see it. I didn't see it. But... People are telling me constantly how powerful, but I said, well, what does that mean, powerful? You know, what, what is that power? And honestly, it probably have changed this word, how it would describe me through the years. But right now, at this moment, with this journey, I would say probably um, a vulnerably authentic, I think. Beautiful. And I need to own it. <laughs> this is not what um, I need to own it. So I'm going to allow myself to be vulnerable right now and just. Uh, that's right, and and we all need that. And so you're on a on a journey of continued self discovery. You all of us are, and thank you for the for the beauty and the strength and and the resiliency that you have that that you're able to stand here and you know you be here and participate in this fabulous book series and. And stand up and say, this, this, I stand with this. I, I am. This is part of my divine legacy. You know, sometimes we're so proud to have what we accomplish, but, uh, and I am, don't get me wrong. I just uh, feel just so much more blessed, right? To being part of that and to contribute, not just to a book, but all the ripple effect yes. of impact of that book that it will go, will have through so many lives and so through you know beyond time and beyond space yes. hopefully beautiful yes. thank you for being here today thank you for this beautiful thank you so much and for thank those that, that haven't yet seen this book if you just now seen this pick up a copy it's on amazon mm -hmm. you can just type in marsh ingle and you'll see it or divine legacy you'll you will find it it will soon be in all, all the online bookstores so um, be sure and pick up a copy. Thank you. What a beautiful time. My pleasure. Thank you for having me and for being part of this amazing journey. My pleasure. Mm -hmm.